Hello everybody, my name is T. Era, also known as Era, and I'm 31 from Chicago. My childhood, for the most part, was pretty fun. I grew up with uh, two brothers and two sisters on the north side of Chicago, Edgewater, Rogers Park area. Um, and besides that, it was always a house full of cousins, aunties, uncles, grandmas, great grandmas, you name it. Some of the lows was having to travel around with my mom through her low points. So when, whenever she had a low point, I was there. So I had different experiences during those times. Me moving to Arkansas, I didn't want to move here at first. But um, in doing so, I've accomplished some things that I probably would not have if I had grew up my whole life in Chicago. Like for an example, um, in Chicago, the only thing we worried about is getting out of school. And then coming here and seeing all of the kids in high school, thinking about what college they want to go to, what they want to do after that, that inspired me like, man, it's something outside of high school. I'm over here trying to get done with high school, but then what's next? So um, I think Arkansas really did help me to become the adult that I am. I would not have furthered my education without being here. Uh, it wasn't much to do here growing up. So the only thing you really can do is something productive or getting in trouble and I wasn't gonna go that route. I am a kindergarten teacher in Chicago. Uh, I really like my job. My daughter is in my class. Uh, I like kids, so it's just being around innocent children who don't even know they funny, so you laughing all day long. You might have a bad day, and one of the kids, they look at you, and they just come up and hug you. Um, so it's just, I'm reminded of myself when I was little because I was a type of child that liked giving out hugs, and now I'm surrounded by kids that's giving hugs. And, Sometimes I like to sit down, sit down, but you know, they keep me on my feet. Other than that, I have some businesses that I do. Uh, my t-shirt business, um, recording videos, doing free promo for artists who might give up on their dreams, but one person supporting them can help them continue on and not give up. So that's what I really do right now. I could have went left so many times, but I, made all those left turns, right turns somehow, um, trying to give my children something better than what I had. And I'm very proud that they are somewhat privileged, but also, I mean, it's a pro and con to that, but they didn't have to go through the struggles or see what I seen growing up or um, wake up and not knowing what their next meal was gonna be. They never had those type of situations. Not saying that that was a bad thing for me necessarily because it built me to who I am, but I am proud that um, I'm showing them a different way and what you're supposed to wake up and do every day and trying to build everything in them to where if something was to happen to me, I feel like they would be able to survive life on their own. So um, I'm proud of myself that I'm accomplishing that and also proud that I have not had a struggling days since 2018 at all. The days to where my kids walk in the store and they're like, mama, when you get some money, can you buy this? It's like, well, guess what, son? I got some money. <laughs> so you can have that today. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, my only regret is sometimes being a little too spontaneous and making decisions I should have thought of more on. Um, um, I feel like I could have avoided some learned lessons. I didn't have to learn those lessons the way I did. Everything don't have to be learned the hard way. I could have learned from somebody else's mistakes and instead I went out and made my own. So I, I feel like that would be my only regret. The most important thing to me is my family, uh, stability, and us staying together and being close and building that foundation that our grandmas built where the family is just together. Like my generation, my mom generation, generations after me, I want all of us to be together. That's what's important to me right now. And also making sure my son do not go down the wrong route, start hanging with the wrong friends and forget everything that I teach him.
my daughter, she's scary. She's not gonna make no bad decisions right now. <laughs> she's scary. She do what I didn't do. She think before everything. She think before she speaks. She think before she acts. She could pick up on body language and everything like that. So I'm already seeing great things in her. But my son, he likes to have fun. Um, and he don't think all the time at first. Him, he think of an excuse to why he did what he about to do to tell me so he won't get in trouble. So I'm more so worried about him. My daughter is good. She's teaching him. The little one is teaching him. So she good. I want everybody, more so what I want them to do, I want them to find a reason to smile every day and to keep going on. Um, and some things you can't control. So there's no need to sit and stress yourself about it. Some things you gotta let go because you can't control it. Just let it be. Get you some rest today and worry about it tomorrow. If you can't change it, let it be. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>